Okay, for all the years that I have been on social media, I have showed you guys my full glute workouts. Now today, I want to teach you how to build your perfect glute workout that one, you actually enjoy, but two, a workout that actually hits all gluteal muscles so that you can see results. Now before every glute focused video that I do, I always like to do this quick little disclaimer just to remind you that you are already so beautiful and sexy. Do not let today's society tell you that if you have big glutes, that's when you'll be beautiful or sexy because that is not true. You are already that. I do these videos simply to educate you and to empower you to train your glutes because having strong glutes is the goal and it is so, so important to have strong glutes for so many different reasons, which I've talked about in other videos. But yeah, just wanted to do that quick little disclaimer and grab your pen and paper or be near your phone to take screenshots because this is going to be filled with so much information and you can create the best glute workout that works for you. So the first thing you need to do when building your perfect glute workout routine is obviously warming up, but more specifically, opening up your hips. Now we all know the benefits of warming up. It quite literally warms up your body, AKA your muscles so that you can prevent injury when weightlifting. But let's dive a little bit deeper in why opening up your hips is so incredibly important so that you can actually see results in your glutes. Now, I have done a whole video on this and the importance of hip mobility exercises and doing them even on your off days. But essentially, when we have very tight or short hip flexors, which 99% of people do due to our sedentary lifestyle, this then leads to our form and posture being thrown off, which then leads to being quad dominant, which obviously means that you're not activating your glutes when you're doing glute workouts. So that's why I emphasize the importance of hip opening or hip loosening, I guess you can say, exercises in your warm up before you do your actual glute workout. So in the video that I mentioned earlier, I do show my five exercises that I love to just open up my hips, but I definitely recommend trying out a few different ones that you find that helps your hips the best because like I always say, everybody's body is different. So to build your perfect warm up routine would be spending at least five to 10 minutes warming up your body. So this can look different for everyone. Some days are gonna be different than other days depending on how you feel. So for example, if you feel like you need a longer warm up because you are sitting all day or you haven't worked out in a while, you can spend five minutes walking on the treadmill to get that blood flowing and then spend about another five minutes doing hip opening exercises. So again, warming up, getting your heart rate up, opening up your hips, loosening up those hips is the perfect warm up routine before your glute workout. So the next thing that you need to do to build your perfect glute workout is incorporating exercises that hit all gluteal muscles, more specifically exercises that work your glutes in a lengthened and shortened position. So that is a whole video in and of itself, the difference between lengthened and shortened exercises, but essentially you can tell the difference between both by one doing a deadlift, for example, you feel that lengthening in your muscles, that stretch compared to a bridge exercise or a hip thrust where you don't feel that stretch, but you definitely still do feel that burn. So incorporating both types of exercises is going to be essential to hitting all gluteal muscles so that you can actually see results. So what I like to do when building my perfect glute workout so that I'm making sure that I'm hitting my glutes in a lengthened and shortened position is doing it these four different variations. So I will have some exercise examples for each variation up on the screen, but what I would do is choose one exercise from each variation. So you will have four different exercises. And then in the next slide, we will talk about how many reps and sets you need to do for each exercise. So the first variation is a hip hinge variation. So 
some exercise examples for this is like a Romanian deadlift, a back extension. These are really good for working your glutes in a lengthening position. So the next variation is a squat slash lunge variation, and this is gonna work your glutes, depending on the exercise, in a lengthened and shortened position. So some examples are a barbell squat, sumo squat, a reverse lunge, and even the leg press, because that's kind of considered a squat. But what I find very interesting is a study that I read that showed that squats led to twice as much glute growth compared to hip thrust and bridges. I just decided to pop that up there. It's good, you know, food for thought. And then the next variation is a thrust variation, which I kind of just mentioned, but this is your bridge exercise, your hip thrust. This is gonna work your glutes in a shortened position. And then the last variation is an isolation variation. So these are exercises that are really mainly going to focus on just your glutes. So what I like to consider isolation exercises, and this is just in my opinion, but is kickbacks and or abduction exercises. So now let's get into how many reps and sets you need to do in order to see results. Okay, this little screenshot that I have up on the screen is actually from my guide that I created. It's a jumpstart your journey guide. I will talk more about it at the end of the video, but if we're talking about muscle size, so increasing your muscle size, it is shown to do about eight to 12 reps per set for three to five sets at 70 to 80% intensity, and then rest for 60 to 120 seconds between each set. So I know that sounds just a whole bunch of information, but what I personally like to do, what works best for my body, and you can try it out to see if it works best for you, is that I love the eight by three method, I guess you can say. So eight reps for three sets for each exercise. And so, when I know I need to increase my weight, which is progressive overload, which is what you need to do in order to see muscle growth, is that by the eighth rep, if I can do more, that is when I know I need to increase my weight that I'm lifting. So you do that every few weeks and you keep increasing your weight, I promise you, you will see results. Okay, the last thing that you need to do when building your perfect glute workout is adding in a cool down and some static stretching. So don't click out. I know that sounds super cliche, but hear me out. So cooling down is going to help bring your heart rate down, which is honestly just overall gonna make you feel good after your hard workout. You won't feel so faint and lightheaded, but static stretching after your workout and the day after your workout is going to be incredibly beneficial for reducing DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. So you know that soreness you get after a hard workout, especially the next day or two, that is what DOMS is. So reducing that is only gonna help you get back in the gym so that you can have an even more effective workout so that you can lift heavier because Let's be real, when you go work out your glutes again and you're still very sore, you're not gonna be able to fully engage your glutes like you're supposed to and fully lift heavier like you're supposed to in order to progressive overload. So static stretching right after your workout and even the day after your workout is going to be incredibly beneficial. But that is it for today's video. I will have up on the screen a very quick overview of what we talked about in today's video. But if you do wanna learn a little bit more on how to build a workout routine or how to have a cool down routine or warm up routine, I do talk a little bit more in depth in my Jumpstart Your Journey guide. I just launched this guide. I spent over a year working on this. It is a 140 page self-paced guide and workbook that will teach you everything you need to know on how to start a sustainable and holistic health and fitness journey. So you will learn everything from hormone and gut health and how that affects your health and fitness journey to cycle seeking to how to build a workout routine to even nourishment on how to nourish your body everything so if you guys want to check out the jumpstart your journey guide i do have a link down below in the description box but for my youtube family i do have a discount code and it is youtube 10 and it will save you 10 percent off your first order so thank you so much you guys for listening to this video and i will see you or talk to you in my next one bye guys